Hey folks, it's 2012! Hey folks, it's Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Uh, so I have an interesting little setup here, but the important thing is that my new tripod came in. I got a bunch of Amazon gift cards for Christmas, and I used a good portion of them to buy myself a new tripod because my old one is sort of broken and sad. So yeah, it looks all professional and sleek and awesome. So this week on These Folk was Start Your Own Business Week. So I, I sort of broke this week's theme into two categories, internet business and like IRL in real life business. So my internet business would be an internet t-shirt and poster store, sort of like College Humor's Busted Tees, because Busted Tees has like a bunch of just funny t-shirts with slogans on them, but they also have a bunch of, you know, novelty items and posters and stuff like that. It would be very community-based. It'd be sort of like Threadless and Woot shirt, I know, both have the people who buy their shirts also help design them, and so then the people who buy them that aren't designing vote on which designs by the community that they like the best, and then those become shirts that they sell. And I think that's a really cool idea. I like the community aspect of that and the idea that anyone can be a designer and anyone can be successful, so that would definitely be added into my business plan somewhere. Then my IRL business would be a independent young adult bookstore. So my bookstore would only have books for kids ages 12 to like, I don't know, t early 20, like 22 or whatever the age group is for young adults. So uh, there would be books for that range age of kids. I would try to build it somewhere near a school like preferably a middle or high school because I know a lot of kids from my high school had to wait around after school for parents to pick them up or that kind of stuff and I think it'd be cool to have somewhere that kids could just walk to from school after school and just hang out and so uh, in addition to just being a young adult bookstore it would also have you know like a little cafe area where there'd be coffee and tea and hot chocolate and you know snacks and stuff for writers under the age of like 18 we'd have writers groups like support groups so they could help each other and I could you know give them feedback on their writing we would have book groups so kids could come in and talk about different books that they've read that we sell in the store. We'd have like poetry slams and open mic nights for uh, student writers. So I'd have a lot of author visits and book signings and events like that. And it would just be a place where kids between the ages of like 12 and 20, generally 12 and 18, but because I'm almost 20 and I'm still reading young adult books, I like to keep myself in that demographic for a little bit longer. But yeah, it would just be a place for teenagers to come in and hang out and be creative and read and enjoy each other's company and just have a safe place. Those are my two businesses that I would start. They're not necessarily mutually exclusive, but I mean, they're just two things that I think would be really cool to do if I had, you know, unlimited time and resources. So I hope everyone has had a fantastic 2011. These folk has been going strong for almost all of this year. Our anniversary is in February, I think. We should come up with something to do for that, by the way. I don't know what. We should talk about that. So I hope everyone had a great year, and I hope 2012 is just as, if not more so, awesome. Shame, I'll see you tomorrow.